at this guy right here. Hi, I'm Smokey. I'm a wiener dog. All right, get back down. Hey everybody, it's Ryan. This is foodcraftman.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm excited to have you here. Believe in me, I love it. Love that you're here watching us, watching me. Sit outside, watching the dogs run around the yard. Over the past month, or last month actually, I uh, put up a video, we're doing a little YouTube channel takeover, so I put up a video of my great friend, Chef Katie Simmons, she's out of Chicago. She runs the website, plants-rule.com. She is a vegan chef, plant-based. Uh, she's pretty awesome, she's contagious in a good way. She shared with me a video for you guys. In fact, it is a fat-free way to caramelize onions. It's a beautiful diesel piece. If you just don't want to add any extra fat into your dishes, here's a great way to do it. Or just to cut down on some calories, I take my caramelized onions and I put them right on a, on a steak. Heck, you can do that too. So what I was trying to say to you guys was, if you're interested in more plant-based cooking, get yourself on the little healthier side of things. Check out Chef Katie Simmons in Chicago. Go to plants-rule.com. She's a plant-based chef. She specializes in keeping it real with the plant-based foods. I'm telling you, she's no joke. Check out her videos on her YouTube channel. All right, guys. Uh, I'll be back soon with more videos, but enjoy this YouTube takeover by Chef Katie Simmons. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, hit the thumbs up button. Smash it, as the kids say. Smash that thumbs up button. Whatever. One of my chef's tips for getting the maximum flavor out of your food is to use caramelization or caramelization. If you're from the South like me, we caramelize our food. <laughs> now, what is that caramelization? Well, think of caramel candies or caramels, right? You get that dark golden color and you get sweetness. And that's the same thing we're gonna do with food. We wanna get that dark golden color and we want to bring out the natural sugars of our plants, our vegetables and fruits, and get that sweetness. Now, traditionally, caramelization has involved butter or oil or just extra fat that we don't need. Well, I will show you how to caramelize without any extra fat or oil or but none of that, just pure flavor. I'm going to use these two sweet onions and caramelize them up to bring the maximum flavor out of them. Join me on the cutting board. I will show you how easy this is. To get our onions ready for caramelization, we first want to slice them thinly. So take off the bottom and the top. Peel off that paper. So you see there's still a place where it's holding together. I want to trim that out because I don't want it to hold together. And then just curl your fingers under and thinly slice as thin as you can. Nice sharp knife makes quick work of this. Get your caramelization going. Put all of your onions into a nice wide pan. That's the trick. A wide pan means mucho surface area, means lots of opportunity for caramelization. I got a few sprigs of fresh thyme in there just to bring out some flavor. And then you wanna add some salt. And this salt will help bring out the moisture from the onions and help them caramelize faster. I got medium low heat on this. Don't wanna rush it. It's gonna take a nice, long, slow cook. Just
look at this. This golden brown, sweet, caramelized onion. No extra fat or butter, just pure onion flavor. Give it a little bit of love with some thyme on the stove. Oh, this is awesome. It works great as a dip for pita bread. Spread it onto flat bread. Or I got some brown rice crackers. I'm gonna go snacking. You know what? Caramelization rules and onions definitely rule because plants rule. This is Chef Katie. I will see you next time. Mm. to my channel I don't you know, do that too but anyway most importantly get something good out of this video and uh, enjoy it and then tell me what you think about it and then go love up Katie a little bit give her some love she wants some I'm out in the backyard chilling trying to drink a beer and I can't get my words out that's uh shorts soft parade it's delicious I'm gonna do this I, I got a beer I'm gonna drink a beer See my old dog running in the background.